Okay, this is a reaction video. Um, 11 common things that don't exist outside the United States. Well, this is interesting to see what I have, and I guess you don't, um, if you're watching from, around the, watching from around the world. Please click like, share, and subscribe, and let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's by Top 10 is the name, is the, are the people that do this. Chocolate chip cookies, dental floss, traffic lights, all great American inventions. These things originated in America but are now all over the world. But if you think that everything American is in every other country, then you'd be wrong. There are some things you just don't see outside of the USA. I'm I guess those solo cups are one of those things. Charlie, and today we're going to look at 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have medical and lawyer ads. Yeah, that's one thing we get an awful lot of is medical ads and lawyer ads, both for pharmaceutical and uh, doctors come, come to my practice and run better than everybody else, and lawyer ads where... Uh, uh, you know, if you you know need a lawyer, they're on the TV. They can tell you where to go. If you're not from the USA but have gone to visit, I'm sure you switched on the TV and heard this phrase. Ask your doctor if this product is right for you, and then most likely a big list of scary warnings and side effects that go by a lickety split fast that you can't read. You don't need to use your pause uh, on your uh, controller to uh, read all those. This is something that only happens in America and it's advertising for medical products. Outside the USA, it's weird to see commercials for medical related things. Most people would just go to their doctor and get what their doctor suggests. But in the USA, it's common to see medical things advertised as if they were any other product. But medical ads aren't the only odd advertising you'll see in the USA. Another thing you'll often see is adverts for lawyers. I'm not talking about Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. Believe it or not, that's not just in TV shows. In the USA, lawyers really do advertise on TV. Did you know that 60%... You have a lot of ambulance chasers on the... Uh... TV, you know, I don't get paid unless you get paid, and things like that. So, you know, if you were part of if this happens to you, give me a call, and I'll, you know, I guarantee I'll fight for you and all that kind of nonsense. Percent of the world's lawyers reside in the USA, and the USA is said to be the most litigious country in the world. This means the most lawsuits come from inside the USA. Next up is spray cheese, and it's not as great as it sounds. Trust me. When you think of cheese, you cheese whiz, Ugh, disgusting. You probably think France. Luxurious French cheese is a staple of fine dining around the world. But the USA has a different kind of dairy-based delicacy. That is spray cheese. Cheese is eaten a lot in the USA. In fact, the USA is the world's largest consumer of cheese. But America also loves convenience and. Yeah, easy cheese. That's why cheese can be bought in a can in the USA. Now, spray cheese is actually only 51% cheese. By law, to call a product what it is, it must be at least half that product. So that's why it's only 51% cheese, not a percentage higher. The other 49% is flavorings, protein, and ingredients. Spray cheese has been big in the USA since the 1960s. And it's even sold in various flavors, for example, cheddar, bacon, and even American flavor. Huh, I wonder what that is. Well, I, I know what that is, but yeah, you get your cracker. It's that simple. Next up is garbage disposals. Yeah, this is something that I, you know, I'm kind of surprised it isn't around the rest of the world. We have a garbage disposal right in our sink. We can throw our stuff there and... And, and dispose of it that way. I'm sure you've seen in movies and TV shows how Americans throw their food scraps into the sink. You may think, what happens to them? Do they just sit there? Well, no, they go into what's called a garbage disposal. These things actually only exist in the USA. In other countries, food scraps would be put in the kitchen bin. But why is it that only in America do they use garbage disposals? That's a good question. I would have thought that would have been something that every country had. Well, the reason why is because in many other countries, it's banned. This is because it's not very environmentally friendly. That's because all of the food is mixed in with the general water waste. This then at some point must be filtered out. So it wastes a lot of energy, but it is convenient. 
it's very convenient, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's something we've been used to, but apparently you around the world uh, have environmental concerns. Eh, whatever. I still like the USA way better. Next stop is college. Yeah, and uh, well, let's be blunt on this. As far as when he says college sports, there really are. Well, I mean, yeah, they have college soccer, college, you know, uh, tennis and college this, college that. But really the only two sports in college that people genuinely, they, actually there's really three. Uh, they care about college football. That's the biggie. Uh, they care about college basketball. That's number two. They kind of care about college baseball, but not as much as the other two. But uh, all the others, I mean, you, you can see some of the other ones on TV, but not a whole lot of people really care about college sports except for uh, football, basketball, and to some extent, baseball. Sports. Every country loves sports. Whether it's cricket in India, football in Spain, or baseball in the USA. But only in the USA are they obsessed with college sports. Every country loves professional sports. You know, one of the things when you talk about football, I'm talking about the football that the rest of the world calls, you know, we call soccer, but football. A lot of players do not go to college in, in, and use that as a uh, preamble to the pros, if you will. It's not you. I mean, in, in, in uh, not so much basketball, but very much in football, uh, a player will go, as he has, I guess that's three years of college uh, before he can declare himself a pro. But that's where you see them first, and that's where people watch them. And then that's why the NFL draft is such a big deal in April. Leagues, and the USA is no exception. But one thing that's different about the USA is that they love college sports as much as regular professional sports. No other country gets behind colleges as much as the USA does. If you ask people in other countries if they can name a college team of any other sport, chances are they can't. In other countries, college sports are not broadcast on TV. And they also don't make any money at all, as opposed to the millions made in US college sports. In the USA, college football brings in thousands of spectators to fill up stadiums. But in other countries, college football games are lucky if they even get the friends and family of the people involved watching. Also, the biggest stadiums in the USA are pretty much all college football stadiums. Out of the top 15 biggest stadiums in the USA, all 15 are college football stadiums. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Columbus, Ohio, which is home of the Ohio State University. And I think their stadium holds over 100,000. I think um, up in the University of Michigan, they hold maybe a little bit more like 110,000. I think Ohio State holds around that much. Maybe they, maybe more in, in Michigan, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a big deal. And in fact, in Columbus, we have a professional hockey team, professional soccer team. Uh, but nothing revolves around Columbus, Ohio, like the Ohio State Buckeye football team. Stadiums, the largest of which being the Michigan Stadium, which can hold over 100,000 fans. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned that. I think it's 110, 115, maybe, whatever it is. I don't know exactly how much it is, but they, 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 they can fill that place up pretty big time. It's called the Big House. Next up is White Teeth. Now, I'm guessing that people around the world know what a toothbrush is and know how to brush their teeth and with toothpaste, but I'm kind of curious to hear where he's going here because, yeah, we in America tend to like to brush our teeth. Have you ever wondered why all Americans seem to have great white teeth? It seems for some reason people in the USA are obsessed with getting the perfect... I wouldn't call it obsessed, okay? Now, uh, we like to brush in the morning, we like to brush in the evening. It's just a force of habit, something that's been ingrained in us. Not, not everybody does it, because I've seen enough people whose teeth aren't uh, as white as they're proclaiming. But yeah, uh, we do brush our teeth. We like den good dental, dental uh, hygiene. Perfect teeth. And by perfect, I mean white and straight. Americans actually spend more money than any other country to make sure their teeth are white and straight. But despite all the money that's spent on getting white and straight teeth, that does not necessarily mean they're more healthy. For example, the British are often mocked for their bad teeth. But according to a Harvard University study, British teeth are actually more healthy than American teeth. Yeah, I've, I've heard that, that, that the British people have horrible teeth, but, uh, you know, I, I see enough uh, English Premier League, see enough uh, British pundits on the TV screen to know that that's just not true, that it looks like they have pretty good teeth. 
Trust me. And keep on, I'm not spending all my time looking at their teeth, mind you. I just uh, have have um, they've in, ingrained in terms of jokes. I think The Simpsons, the big book of British smiles. If you don't know what that is, that's from the TV show. It showed a bunch of horrible British teeth. Uh, I remember saying, "Is that the British really have bad teeth?" So I started watching one time and said, "No, they have fine teeth. Their teeth look fine to me." Me. Not all Brits look like Austin Powers. One reason why this may be is because in the UK, under-18s can get braces for free. However, in America, they're very expensive, and there's a good reason for that. According to a study by New York Mag in the USA, good teeth can be the difference between getting a second date and not. Apparently, 38% of Americans will turn someone down for a second date if they have bad teeth. And 60% of Americans say they perceive someone as smarter if they have straight white teeth. Next up is Black Friday. And Black Friday is basically the day after Thanksgiving, but it's really kind of changed a bit because Black Friday, even though it's still called Black Friday, uh, let's see, we have a, 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 a holiday in the United States called Thanksgiving. And it's like the fourth Thursday of the month of November. And uh, most of the stores or everything is usually closed that day. And then uh, the next day, Friday, would be the opening of the uh, holiday uh, season in terms of shopping. Well, that, that's changed a bit. Now the whole month of November is pretty much Black Friday. They all put all their sales on quite early now. And a lot of stores are actually open on Thanksgiving to get the, the leg up. They're more interested in the money than they are in making it. Like so their uh, uh, employees have the day off, which is what it's. Thanksgiving is meant for, but I digress. Black Friday is just basically the biggest shopping day of the year and when all the deals can be had and you see a bunch of people run in there and just do nothing but shop and shop and shop for Christmas and try and get the best deals. That's really what Black Friday is all about. If you're not from the USA, you may not understand why everyone goes so crazy on this day every single year. Black Friday is the name given to the day after Thanksgiving, which is another American holiday. The term Black Friday came about because of the amount of accidents and sometimes even violence shoppers create. People go crazy for all the deals in the stores and sometimes there are riots just to get into a shop. Black Friday has expanded to other countries, for example the UK, but videos of Black Friday in other countries have gone viral for different reasons. That's because no one really cares about Black Friday in other countries. And shops often only get one or two extra visitors than on a normal day. Billions of dollars are spent in the USA every time Black Friday rolls around. But it seems the rest of the world just isn't into it. And that's understandable. The other thing they have is right after Black Friday is Cyber Monday, which is when all the online, say like Amazon and that sort of thing, do their deals. And it's another busy day to, to take, take money. Next up is Solo Cup. Yeah, the Solo Cups. The I don't have any, but uh, the red Solo Cups. A lot of them, people use them for tailgating. If you're American, this may come as a surprise. But red Solo Cups are seen as a very American thing. In movies and TV shows, everyone drinks out of them at parties. And many tourists actually bring back a red Solo Cup to their own countries when going to America. That's because it's seen as a piece of American iconography, although many Americans don't realize this. In other countries, people simply drink from beer bottles. Now, the reason why those Solo Cups are popular, if I were to go to a tailgate, if I'm tailgating and I am uh, have a beer in my hand and I'm just drinking the beer out of that, I can be cited by a cop for... Uh, open open container you can't do that um i believe that's that that's what the law is if, if i buy a, a, a bottle of beer and i walk start walking around with my beer uh i can get uh, a ticket for that so you buy the cups you can pour the beer or the alcohol in there and then you're okay it's all glasses but in the usa they use red plastic solo cups next up is yeah that's another thing I've, I've heard on other uh uh, things about free refills. If you go, you know, if you go to a restaurant in the United States uh, and you order, and, you know, first of all, water refills are always free. That's not a problem. But Coke, Pepsi products, whatever they have, they always give you free refills. 
even at McDonald's, you can get a free refill if you go inside the and eat there because, in fact, they just give you an empty cup and you go there, you fill it with ice and you fill it with your drink. And, you know, most people, you know, if they have half the drink done, will go right back there and fill it up to go. But, yeah, you have free refills of, 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 of pop and uh, or soda or Cokes, whatever you want to call them. Is free refills. When I was dining in the USA once, a waiter came up to me and said, would you like me to refill your drink? I said no because the drink was kind of expensive, and they looked at me like I was crazy. That's because it is typical in any American restaurant to have a free refill. In other countries, you'd need to pay if you wanted extra drink, but not in the USA. In other countries, if you pay for one drink, that's what you get. And many Europeans say that they find it very weird when they go to the USA and their glass gets refilled even if they don't ask. But personally, I love it. I'm never going to turn down a free... Now, they don't give a free refill to beers. I, I should I should make that very clear. You see these two guys, you know, they don't give free. You know, it's not like you go there and you buy a beer and then they f- refill it for free. Okay, this is only for the Cokes uh, that you get. But, yeah, um, you walk there and, and you go there. Uh, in the United States, most places, they offer free refills. Free drink. And finally on the list, we have flags. Now, keep in mind, when I was in Germany, I saw a lot of German flags. Maybe, I don't know if it was just because it was during the World Cup, but I did see a lot of flags. Every country has their flag, but no one shows off their flag more than the USA. If you drive around the USA, it's common to see people flying the American flag on their homes. Also, many buildings, schools, and businesses will have an American flag. This is something you don't see in any other country. Now, like I said, I saw that in Germany, and I've, it may have been because it was during the World Cup. But in the United States, a lot you, some of it has to do with a lot of people having uh, family in the military. According to reason, and they want to, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, we are also proud to be Americans too. That's uh, that's the other reason. A part of it is pride uh, in our country. Research: Over 150 million American flags are sold every year, and it's not exactly known why people in the USA love to show their flag off so much. Worldwide, the USA flag is the second most famous flag after the Union Jack. Yeah, but the Union Jack is kind of. Um, I'm gonna no, no. Can't keep my mouth shut. But no other country waves their flag as much as they do in the USA. Vote in the poll in the top right corner the most interesting common thing that doesn't exist outside the USA. I think it's spray cheese, as I'd really like to try that someday. No, you really don't. If you guys want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10. Yeah, subscribe. Please click like, share, and subscribe to uh, Top 10. And please click like, share, and subscribe for me as well. I appreciate it. This was a good video and interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day.